Hey, how's it going everybody? So I'm solo today. Usually my son is holding the camera. He's still asleep while I'm making this video, but it's all good. I'm here with a new update for y'all. Me and my son, we went to our local fish store yesterday and we picked up a bunch of convict cichlids to flow into the 180 gallon. But first, let me go ahead and talk about this tank before I show you the fish. All right, so this is our 180 gallon island tank. The reason why me and my son call it the island tank is because it's actually in the center of our fish room and you can actually see all the way around it. We got the overflow box right there in the bag, goes down to our sump. But one thing that we need to do as soon as possible is we need to upgrade the return pump so we get more water flow. And I gotta add more biomedia down right there, which is I have, I just need to get my button gear and do it. And then I got to go back to my local fish store. He's got a bunch of branches that I want to get. And what I would like to do is have a bunch of branches going through the center of the tank. That way these fish have more areas to claim as their territories and stuff like that. Kind of disperse the, the aggression as they pair up. As you can tell, we got multiple pairs forming right now. Um, there was a pink pair right here, but anyhow, yeah, I want to get more branches going through here. Um, we're getting a bunch of convicts pairing off right in that section where the valve plants are. So that tells me to add in more valve plants. So we'll probably add in a bunch of more right here, possibly some going throughout here. I don't want to add too much because as these grow, they actually send out runners and will fill in the tank. But we definitely need to jump start it by adding some more. But anyhow, let's go ahead and check these fish out. So we got regular convicts in here and we also have the pink convict cichlids. So I really do like the pink convict cichlids because the females get like a cream color on their bellies. Let me see if I can find one up close. Yeah, there's one, as long as this male doesn't scare it away. Yeah, there's one right there. Come on. Turn, there you go. Yeah, so you can tell that one's a female by the coloration on her belly. Just like the regular ones. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to find a female because everyone's trying to pair up right now. But anyhow, we also went to our local hardware store, picked up these flower pots, that way they can claim them as breeding grounds, spawning grounds, however you wanna put it, where they make their nests and everything. And I'm also gonna go to my local lake here pretty soon, I'm not sure exactly when, but I wanna get some more river rock and everything else to put through here and everything else, kind of fill it in. And we also have two Oscars in here too, two albino. There's one right there. What's up, little gun? What's up? Always coming up to say what's up. That one's really cool. We have two in here though. I believe the other one, yeah, there's the other one right down there. But as you can tell, we got a male with two female convicts. I don't know if he's gonna breed with them both or if the females are fighting over him. Not sure what's going on there. I like his style though. <laughs> Come back around over here. Check this side out. And yeah, this is where they were really fighting over yesterday after we got them in the tank. They're really fighting over this battleground of plants right here before we added in the pots and everything. So that tells me, like I said, that tells me we got to add in more valve plants, scatter them out. But. Yep, that's what we decided to do with our 180 gallon, is add in, oh yeah, here's that other Oscar, is add in convicts. So, what is our plan with all the convicts? So, my plan with the convicts is, obviously, they're not going to be able to spawn out and raise a lot of the fry in the tank. They're going to get eaten, so we'll have to separate, separate the eggs and artificially hatch them or wait till they're little wigglers and siphon them out. We'll figure that part out when the time comes. But what I want to do with the convicts is raise them up and feed them to my peacock bass. Um, basically bringing my own feeders. With that being said, because, you know, these fish get big. And so I feed them right now, little frozen gobies, some silver sides. Silver sides are a little bit bigger. A um, little bit of pellet food, but not too much. But breeding my own feeders and having them in the fish room already, I know they don't have no parasites. I know they don't have no internal things going on, as opposed to if I were to go to like Petco or PetSmart 
and bite goldfish right out of the tank and bring them home and feed them to my fish right away, they can actually get sick that way. So it's also cheaper to breed and raise your own um, feeders basically. So with convicts, if anyone knows convicts, they breed like madmen. You know, they constantly are spawning. So we should have a ton of babies here in no time. And we have a lot of peacock bass to feed. So that's the goal with the convicts is basically breed and feed, basically. Sounds kind of harsh, but you know, they would be getting eaten in the wild anyway. But uh, that's our plan with them. So just wanted to show y'all a quick update on the island tank and what we added to it and everything else. And as I put a new pump in and add the driftwood and everything, I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we will be dropping new videos all the time. And make sure to share this with your family and friends. Thank you.